Asia we have in total 22 of foreign and local Islamic banks. Isn't it too much for the local market? Um, in, in Malaysia, although there are 22 Islamic banks, um, our size of the market is only 22% of the market. Uh, and uh, that, that, if you look relatively to the population that exists of 54% uh, uh, of Muslims that exist in uh, at least 54% of Muslims in Malaysia, uh, that is relatively small. So actually Islamic banks have got a lot more to grow uh, in Malaysia. So. Um, it's not the number that, 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 that matters. I think it's the penetration that matters in the market. So it's the effectiveness of these institutions uh, in terms of uh, wanting to see more market share. So I, I guess the number is not the important issue. It's, it's the penetration into the market that, that's going to go on. We have competition amongst the banks. It is quite intense, but it is healthy competition. And it benefits the consumer because the consumer gets one of the best pricing in terms of financing in the market. So I guess what will happen in the future is there will still be a big number of banks, but uh, maybe over time this will uh, reduce. As a CEO of Bank Muamalat, could you share with us, is there any future measures between Bank Muamalat and other Islamic banks? Well, as far as uh, Bank Muamalat is concerned, uh, we look at uh, both aspects in terms of growing organically and uh, inorga inorganically. Um, and um, basically, um, uh, in terms of the stake that DRB owns, which is 70%, uh, there's a clear mandate from the central bank that uh, to reduce this uh, stake. So over the course of time, we may see uh, certain uh, corporate uh, exercises uh, which may or may not include mergers uh, uh, to be part of, uh, of this uh, exercise of uh, uh, reducing the, the shareholding that uh, DRB Highcom has uh, in uh, Bank Muamalat, Malaysia Berhad. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you.